morning guys and welcome back to what's Colin gonna do next well on this one we have come out of the Gower after some lovely uh, coastal walks and we have come up to Swansea and we've gone a little bit further west do you know I'm not quite sure of the place we're in at the moment but we're on a golf course little CL site bit mucky this time of year you know, it's a bit early in the season. There's a couple of caravans there. I think that was a worker down there. He went off this morning to work. You know, it's not kept very well, but you know, it is early in the season. It is still only January, um, but they've got a water point over here, somewhere to empty your toilet. There is hook up, not that we needed it. My batteries are doing fine. Um, what I do like about this site though, uh, lovely showers down at the uh, uh, the uh, the clubhouse, and hard standing is on astroturf, which is really good because this time of the year it can get really muddy. Anyway, we're going to pack the van up. We're going to go up to Carmarthen, I think that's how you pronounce it. Have a little look up there. Head up sort of northwest across uh, the side of Wales, up onto the coast, and then we're going to camp up on that west coast um, tonight. That would be night four. Not quite sure if we're gonna be wild camping or on a campsite, but you know, that's the adventure, that's the beauty of having one of these vans and just making your plans up as you go along. So we're gonna get the van sorted and I'll catch up with you a little bit later on, on the road. Bye for now. Hi guys, and before we set off, this is how I sometimes get water into my van so on the campsite they've got this green hose which they normally have attached to the tap all i've done is unscrewed the uh the tap head leave that on there screw mine on put the hose across straight into my water bottle then i can fill it up i can see it fill up in there and when it gets nearly to the top. How to do, turn it off. And always remember to take this back off and put theirs back on. Just thought I'll show you that. Always good to have one of these attachments with you in your van. So there's their attachment back on there. And that's where my hose lives in the back of the door. So always good to have one of those, gets you out of trouble. Right, so we're all packed up, got water in the van and we're ready to go. So I'll see you down the road. Here we are guys in Carmarthen, parked in a great little car park. Two pounds to about half past 12 and it's only about 10 o'clock. At the back of the church, we're gonna have a little look around Never been here before, little town. Let's go and explore. And just a little stroll through the high street. Quirky little shops. I'll put a few pictures in. But we found a little castle. More of a ruins than a proper castle but I suppose once it was a proper castle but there's not a lot left of it basically that wall that bit behind me and this bit's quite good where you first come in can't really get it all in the camera but uh, nice little stroll around I think Karen wants to put me in the stocks. I'll put a picture on in a minute. And then we go through this little doorway and there's a bit more of the castle wall. And that's about it here. Let me get in those stocks.
bit of a posh coffee shop behind me. Well, it didn't take Karen two minutes to find the Nero shop, so she's in there and I'm listening to this guy. Absolutely fantastic guy. After looking round the shops in Carmarthen, quirky little shops, I've put some pictures in for you. Karen treated me to that lovely Nero coffee, but she put it in a Costa cup. Is that acceptable? If it is, or if it isn't, put something in the comments and let me know. Would you put your Nero in a Costa cup? drive and we are now in Newquay what a beautiful place this is little harbour and we're gonna have a little walk along the harbour wall take some photographs and see what else we can find Where's your favourite harbour? Where have you seen houses all painted different colours? Where's your favourite spot in the country? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know. Well, I didn't think we'd have a beach day today, but we are on the beach. Can't beat it, can you? Something about it. Get in that sand, in your socks, in your van. Terrible to sweep out. But Karen tells me I've got to get on the beach and kick a bit of sand around. My kids will be laughing at this because all four of my boys and my daughters know that I don't like sand in the car or in my van. But sometimes you've just got to do it. Here we are, on the beach, beautiful. Ooh, guys, that was a bit of a walk up there, but we're at the top, we're gonna to jump back in the van, head up the west coast, and try and find a wild camp tonight. So, I'll see you down the road. Here we are again, guys. About an hour's drive, and we're up on the east coast. Probably one of the stoniest beaches. <laughs> Karen have a bit of a problem with a foot in there, but probably one of the stoniest beaches I've ever seen before. But absolutely fantastic coastline. It's epic here. And just a little bit further up, Karen and I camped here about five years ago when we hired a camper van. And it was such a fantastic park up. 
so quiet off the main road there was a little garage at the end of this track so we were able to get some milk and some bits and pieces and that's why we came back so we parked in the car park thinking this is where we are going to wild camp tonight but we have a bit of a problem there is a sign appeared it certainly wasn't there when we came before and it says no other night parking i'll show you the i'll show you the sign now the question is guys if you were here and you wanted to wild camp with that sign being there would you camp would you take the chance who's gonna move you on who enforces it is it the local council is it the police is there a lifeboat gonna come in from the sea maybe <laughs> and move you on no only joking but um would you do it or would you move on have you done it have you got away with it what would you do well we've decided to move on we don't want to take the chance we don't want to go to bed tonight and worry about someone banging on the door waking us up having to move in the middle of the night it's going to cause big issues so we jumped on the caravan and motorhome club site and literally 10 minutes up the road there is a site which is available hook up hard standing i think showers toilets everything and it's uh, 18 pounds a night so i've run the guy he said he's got availability we said we're gonna have a little walk on the beach and we'll be up just before dark and he said that's fine so it's always good to have a backup i've got to watch me foot in here otherwise i'm going to end up on my backside um way nearly went <laughs> nearly went nearly went but so, so that's what we're going to do tonight um but let me know if you would camp even though that sign's there or have you camped got away with it have you camped and got caught and got in some trouble leave it in the comments because i would be very interesting to see or hear what's happened to you guys so we're going to carry on walking along here i'll give you a little shot in a minute a picture of where the van is parked because it's a fantastic little park up but unfortunately like i said no camping here tonight and I'll let you have a little look on where we are walking. And that's the park up, guys. 